Good morning, PokeFam, and welcome to another beautiful Saturday morning Pokemon Power Play. But before we get to anything, happy Remembrance Day here in Canada. That's right, it is Remembrance Day, and we're here to say thank you to all the veterans, past, present, and future, for the sacrifices you have given and you are going to give. We are very honored for you to be watching us today. Now, welcome to the Poke Channel. And today, we are opening... The second box of Paradox Rift. That's right. We are going to dive into this today. We opened up the other one last week. So we're going to see the difference today. We're going to check out the promo card. Don't worry. I have the other promo card here so we can hold them together and see what's the difference. Because I think I pretty much got to figure out reading and checking out the different cards. And it could be a very cool and very nice way to play. So we will find out. So let's dive in and find out. What's in this box? But more importantly, find out that I'm going to stay the king. That's right. All right. So let's dive in and see what is in this beautiful box. Now, this is going to be the future box because the other one is the ancient box with Roaring Moon. Was it Roaring Moon? Yeah, yeah. The new variant. And this is Iron, Iron Valiant. This one's like futuristic so you can even see it. So kind of a cool way of introducing new stuff. Now, I do believe everything underneath is the same, so we're not going to open that up. The book is going to be the same, except for the front cover, I do believe. And maybe the end? No, that's still the same. So, yeah. So, it's more or less everything the same, except for the cover. Now, let's open up this box. Yeah. All right, so there is. Oh, watch your hand. The sleeves. Put up there. We got the promo. We'll leave that down until the end. Of course, the brick. Dice. We keep seeing this color coming up a lot more lately in dice, which is just reusing the same colors. Nothing new. We got our dividers. Our variant is or valiant is all there. We got our markers as always. Throw those in there. Throw those up there as well. Promo code. And of course, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs. Alright. However, let's look. Let's take a closer look. Let's get this out here for a second. This is Iron Bundle. So the Deli Bird is in there. You know what? It's getting close to Christmas. Love it. Love Christmas. Love everything about it. So getting this Iron Bundle is kind of cool. It's a futuristic delivery bird. Um, and then we have, of course, the ancient Screamtail. So what is the difference? Well, what I noticed is... Ancients seem to be very strong Pokemon that you can get up and going pretty fast, and they're very self-reliant. Um, so you're battling them head-on by themselves, more or less. Whereas Future seems to rely more on abilities and joint abilities of having several Future cards together. But even to get them going, as you can see down here, it takes three energies to get these ones going, where these ones are up in one and or two. Um, so these are going to be more hard hitting, more durable, but these are going to be relying on each other as a team with abilities and then building up to those big hits. So kind of a cool way to do it. Um, we'll see if it plays out. Battle styles are supposed to be different ways of fighting, but it didn't really work. But you know what? This could see some very dynamic team plays. Very strong teams are very reliant and independent. Dependent teams, whereas you get very unreliant, very independent teams. So, we'll see how it plays out. So we're going to put that one up there, because nobody owns that one right yet. Alright, so, went through everything else. Get rid of that box as well. And let's dive in to find out. Oh, I forgot. There's nine packs. Which one I want to pick? Let's go with this one. Let's go with this one right here. That's going to be the winner's pack as well. So let's dive in and find out why I'm going to stay the king. See, he doesn't even argue because he knows. I'm just going to stay the king. All right. First choice is yours. Going with the Terra Gartomp. All right. Dive 
And then let's see what we get. All right. Oop, took one too many. Throw that there. Flip it around. And starting off with steel energy. Yeah, steel energy. Glygar. Blip bug. Fuey Coco. Hone Edge. Tinkaton. Tatsugiri. Earthen Vessel. Reverse Hollow 1 is a Remorand. Reverse Hollow 2 is a Doxus. And a Z2. And that bothers me a little. Like, getting a cool card like Deoxys. A big Pokemon like that. Come on, we should have had Terra Deoxys. Come on! Missing that opportunity? All right. Let's go with this Terra Cadet right here. Let's go with this Terra Cadet right here. Let's see. Let's see what we get out off this one. I did that again. Those cards seem to be sticking together, the energies. All right, starting off with Dark Energy. We have a Remorand. Got a Pump Kaboo. I have a Zubat. Gimme Ghoul. Screamtail Ancient. Hey, Iron Bundle Future. Those are the same. Yeah, it's the same card, just different art. Feral Thorn. Reverse Hollow 1 is a Spindra. Reverse Hollow 2 is a Garbodor. And oh, 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 Skeledridge EX Terra. That means, right off the bat, one point for me. That's right. All right. We are starting off good for me. Can I? Can I keep it up? All right. What are you picking next? Roaring Moon. All right. Let's dive in to that one and see what you got. All right. Starting off with Fighting Energy. Fighting Energy. Flamingo. Flamingo. I Poliwhirl? That's like just, he lost. I'm sorry, that is Porygon. And you know how to read that. Does that look like a frog to you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aricario. Aricario. Toad School. Toad School. Mm. Mincho. Rika. Rika. Gorgeist. There's the reverse hollow slither wing. That's a nice ancient. ancient reverse hollow. I like the reverse hollows for the ancients and the futures because they look so cool. Like the ancients do look like weathered and ancient, and the futures do look like futuristic. That is a nice touch. Um. Octillery. And again, like, come on. Terra Zekrom, Full Art Zekroms. Having such cool Pokemon and not giving them the, the Pokemon treatment they deserve. All right. Let's dive in with this one and see what we get. All right, starting off with Water Energy. Oricorio. We have a Swablu. Pansier. Nicket. Luxurious Cape. Apey Bomb. Snorlax Doll, which is a really cool one I haven't played with yet to try out. Like, trying to get it into the starter would be hard, but you know what? Having a free space, somebody has to fight. Kind of cool. Onyx. Mantike. Into! The Brute Bonnet Ancient Hollow. That's kind of cool. See, the Ancients are, are just different, I think. We'll see how well they work out. All right, which one are you going for now? 
going for the other Charconet. All right. All right. Starting off with water another water energy. Panpour. Blitzel. Bound Sweet. Feebass. Luxurious Cape. Cyclozar. Semi Seer. Rika. Whismer into a Latio. Into a Latios. Alright. Let's go with another one of these. Gee. We are not doing good on pull rates on this one. We need a couple hits. Just to break even, I think. Alright, starting off with an electric energy. We have Dweeble. We have Horsea. We have Joltic. Foudred. Medical Energy, Iron Bundle, Gliscor, Gosselpod, Countercatcher, Agaslash EX. Agaslash EX. Not gonna lie. Not a fan of this Pokemon. This whole line, line of this one's just wasn't a fan of them. But, I will take it for one point. All right. You better not be stacking packs back there, disappearing off the table. Loaded pack or something. Uh, I don't want to believe you. This is it. This is your last pack. Can you do it? Dark energy. Start off with a dark energy. Swab blue. Swab blue. Pants here. Nicket. We have a Nicket. Gligar. Veluza. That is a long title. Technical Machine Turbo Energize. Yep. Wog Trio. Brute Bonnet. Nastly. And a Zaytu. That means what I said was right. That's right. Not only one, but two bonus packs for me because I have already won this battle. That's right. I'm the king. Alright, can we get any more hits because you know what? The hits are not doing good right now. Alright, this is pack eight. Let's see if we can't get something. Starting off with fighting energy. There's the Hone Edge. Yeah. Horsea. Joltic. We got Natu. Chantal. Garbador. Future Boost Energy Capsule. The titles are getting longer. Fancier. Toad School! Into a Melotic. All right. Pack number nine. Can we get one and three hits? One and three hits. Can we do it? Can we do it? One and three hits here. Can we get one and three hits? Find out. Starting off with Psychic Energy. Furloin. Mind Fu. Feral Seed. Gibble. Cursed Duster. Why not? Or Beetle. Pale Cloth. Mind Foo yet again. Zubat. Into. Guardian Soul. That's a two out of nine. And that means out of these two ETPs we opened the last two weeks, put those back. I'm seeing what you're doing there. Those are mine now because I am the king. I get all the cards. No longer new. That's right. 
They come over to me. But two out of nine hits. I do believe the ancient pack was better. Get away from my cards. But until then, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you actually are going out and opening Paradox Rift. You know what? It is a nice set. Don't get me wrong. Not 151 class, and I don't think one Obsidian Flames either. I think, personally, I know a lot of people at 151, but I'm still a bigger fan of Obsidian Flames. I think that's the best set yet. They're trying something new. Is it going to work? Well, we'll see. Could be cool, but I don't think it might take off the way they hoped. But until then, go out, open packs, and have a great day doing it. And hopefully you get better hits than me. Anything you'd like to say? Happy Remembrance Day. Couldn't have said it better myself. Hope you all have a happy remember stay and remember that even as opening folk cards, we deserve a lot to the veterans in our lives. So have a great remembrance day and have a great future and hopefully we'll all stay safe. Have a great day, everybody.